today, Wednesday, and I already recorded a few clips for today, but nothing too detailed. Burn them out, pipe maintenance, and a RTU repair. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Okay, so this burn them out pipe is from 2013. And I'm doing a full service. I already got my gas disconnected, my electrical unplugged, my igniter, my flame sensor out, and all my bolts. And this is the first time that it's going to be opened in nine years. So we'll see how bad it looks inside. And it actually doesn't look too terrible, but there's a lot of those all of those tubes there's a lot that you can't see that needs to be cleaned with something slim and here's our assembly and our burner tube so we'll clean all this out and see how nice we can get it okay so i rinsed it out really well i'm going to continue rinsing it but this right now is filled with the dirty water from rinsing it after scrubbing it, and we'll see how dirty it is. Yep, so there's that much gunk sitting on the heat exchanger and more, but this is what we got the first round, so. Okay, so I have my water. It says glass cleaner, it's just water. But uh, I'm gonna hold the hose under here at the drain and I'm just gonna rinse it off really well while it vacuums out the gunk and the nasty water. And per the request of Burnham Alpine themselves, uh, every time I'm on the phone with them, they always give a reminder to clean the in between the fins with a thin piece of plastic like a credit card. So I just keep this thin piece of plastic in my Alpine box now to make sure that they have a gap in them and that they're not plugged up with debris. That way everything drains out properly. So I'll do this for a while, I'll go through all of them and I'll spray water again to make sure that all that crap that I get dislodged gets rinsed out properly. Because again, you can only see a portion of these, the tubes wrap all the way around. So, okay, I'm just giving it like a final rinse off. Uh, and I'm going to start disassembling the blower assembly and we can clean all this out, uh, make sure everything looks good, and then start to reassemble it. Okay, so I just pulled off the gas valve and I made a mark on the fan shroud and the fan itself. That way I know exactly how it goes back because it does matter and we can pop off this cover and we can pull this off see it's dusty but it's not terrible and we'll brush all this off make sure it's nice and clean and then we'll reassemble it and with this disassembled i just cleaned out the side glass to make sure i can see through it now and i'll brush this off and vacuum this off vacuum it out it gets uh pretty dusty but uh, I'll get that nice and clean. Peter's cleaning off the igniter and the flame sensors. And thankfully I just got all these supplyhouse.com deliveries because I needed to get this cat. Uh, this customer has the old cap kit and it's disintegrating. They stayed in the manual uh, for service. You should always replace if you see the white one. So here's a black one and I'll show you taking out the white one and putting this one see in. See right here, it says discard the white cap and replace with a black cat. Color of food temperature sensor is white. It must be discarded and replaced with a black cat. And that is right in here. I'm trying to pull it off in one piece, but it completely just disintegrates. You can see I can crush it in my hand, but I'm gonna show the homeowner when I crush it uh, to make sure that he wants to replace it before I go ahead and do so. Okay, so the homeowner did say to go ahead and do it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is 
apply this grease that comes with it on the inside where it meets the flue pipe. And I'll kind of get that around there with my finger. And that's to lubricate it and to kind of keep it sealed. And it's um, like high temperature rated grease. And I'll just slide it in on that hole back here. Actually, let me. I'm just going to slide it onto the temperature sensor itself for now because I do want to do a combustion analysis and see how it's running uh, before I put that completely on. Okay, so the customer had stated he had gotten errors regarding the gas. I have just turned the gas off at the control valve and I'm going to loosen up the inlet. Oh, it's tight. Actually, let me get just a hole. Okay, so I'm gonna loosen up the inlet. incoming gas pressure is uh, I can't the error code isn't in the history so right now I have my Klein manometer zeroed out and I'm gonna pop this on inside that hole it's a little bit tight it's hard to reach Gas pressure is 6.43, and it needs to be a minimum of 3.49 inches of water column. So we are at double that, and the maximum is 14. And it cannot be below 1 when the system is operating. So I will have him turn it on, and we will check the pressure while it operates. Okay, so boiler did just start up. It's gonna go through uh, roughly 60 seconds of a startup, uh, but the heating zone is now turned on. We'll see what our gas pressure drops to after the pre-ignition test. Okay, we're in pre-ignition test, and hopefully the camera will be able to see the spark. Yep, you can see we have a good spark in there. Now, it'll open in a few seconds, and we'll see our pressure drops to 5.4, our pressure is perfect, so I'm not sure, maybe he was having an issue because the heat exchanger was dirty and now it's cleaned. Uh, I did a combustion analysis test and here are those results. Um, main concern for is oxygen and CO2, which is, where is our CO2? 8, 8.69%. And our carbon monoxide is also below 50 particles per million, so we know it's burning safely and properly. So we finished up with that. Uh, it took us about two and a half hours. Um, and he's very happy. Uh, we replaced an air, an air vent as well that was leaking. Um, but everything there is working perfectly. So he should be all Go set for winter. Night. Then at the next one, turn right. We're on our way now to a rooftop unit that I was at yesterday, and it was completely frozen. At the I think light, it was the turn right most ice right. I've ever seen on an air conditioner. 
or a rooftop unit, I guess, but pulled the disconnect, let it thaw out, and now we're on our way there to see what the issue is. Okay, I'm up here now. This is our RTU, older R22 system. Got the umbrella for some shade. It's getting pretty warm. We're on like a second roof, second level roof. So there's another roof right there. Set the ladder up, coming from inside. But uh, I got the Testos. Uh, I'm gonna make sure we have fan when I power it on and then check refrigerant pressures. Uh, let's see if we're low or why we're freezing. Our standing pressures are about accurate. Um, got my Testo clamps hooked up to my lines and I got my um, probes hooked up. Here is our fan compartment, which in fit is pretty dirty. But, uh, plug power in, make sure our fan comes on. Peter's gonna hold this so I don't kill myself while I do it. Okay, so with our fan calling, um, our cooling terminal for our blower is not getting 120 volts. Uh, there is 120 volts coming into the board, but it's not sending it back out. Uh, there is no de delay, the delay is off, so I left it plugged in for a while just to make sure there's no delay or anything like that, and still no power going into our blower motor. So. We're going to replace this control board. If the customer approves the replacement of it, I'll have to pick it up at a local supply house. Okay, so we're on our way now to Johnstone to pick up the part. Uh, the customer kept wanting to go back and forth on the pricing and then took a phone call for 10 minutes while we were in discussion and then took another phone call after that, but finally agreed to do it. Uh, he wanted to maybe not fix it and just install mini splits. Uh, uh, we're getting the part now, and then we'll put it in, and hopefully that's it. Uh, capacitor is tested good, uh, none of the motors are seized. Um, hopefully our pressures are okay, and we should be all good to go. We got our new control board in. Here are our pressures. Our uh, low temperature is a little bit bouncy, but it seems to be hovering at about that. 43-ish uh, it was gone up to. But uh, our fan is going, amped it out, it amps out okay. Here's our new control board. Uh, cooling's running, obviously, and we are good to go. So I'm gonna fill out the invoice, include all the information, include my pressures in the invoice, and on to the next. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. Um, on my way home now, just finished up a quick, kind of quick service call. Um, the system's not uh, cooling well, and the line set is leaking. Uh, it is the white uh, insulation, so we're gonna replace the lines. Uh, I guess they're like a long time customer, so we'll see what happens with that. And that's it. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Did, like turn it, left. Comment any advice or criticisms or feedback and subscribe. Thanks for watching.